Today, we're gonna be checking out Gigux Best of Anime 2023. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, consider liking, commenting, maybe subscribing to the channel for more reactions to Gigux videos. Just wait for him to make one and, and I'll probably react to it because honestly, as an anime content creator, it's probably one of my favorites. And if you like anime reactions, specifically my own, again, definitely subscribe. You can find the full link as well as exclusives to those anime reactions that are mine that you may potentially like over on Patreon. Let's see what Gigak has to say. Well, it's that time again. We got good shows. We got bad shows. But the real... Wait, which one was the bad show? Hold on. We got bad... Bad shows. Was that Cheat Skill? Cheat Skill's not even the worst of it all, man. Yeah, yeah, there are so many bad shows. <laughs> Last year, there a lot of bad shows. A lot of good shows. What are the moments that are going to Zom. be remembered? Zom's first episode was definitely memorable. New song? Who it is? What is this? 2023 was a year dominated okay. by absolute mm. heavyweight shows just completely mm. taking over. Mm. Anime seemed innocent. All of these. Whether you were a fan or All not. All of these are just bangers. Live action adaptations. Legendary Agreed. series coming to an end. Memes. Aww. So many Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen the, the... I remember when Buchigiri literally chapter one came out and then everyone, everyone was like making these memes of Buchigiri being like the most sold ever, best whatever. Blah, 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 blah. It was like, uh, oh, Buchigiri, the best uh, anime or uh, best manga ever with zero volume sold or some shit like that, dude. It's just people are hype on it. I hope that the hype continues for it. I know it's kind of a rant, but a lot of times there'll be hype out the gate. I haven't heard anybody talk about Buchigiri since. Wait, it's not Buchigiri. Oh, Kagura. Wait, Kagura Bachi. Is that what it's called? Kagura Bachi. Yes. Okay. That's what it's called. Eh, I don't know. Listen, dude, I'm, I'm terrible with these fucking names. Kagura Bachi. I haven't read it. So like, I'm not going to remember the name very well. But they, they're, they're really hype on it. I'm hoping the hype doesn't die because I haven't heard shit about it. I have not heard anything about it in very, very long time. And like, Please don't be bad. Don't also don't get canceled because so many of these manga get canceled before you can really get into them. Memes. It feels like the influence of a handful of shows have truly seeped into mainstream pop culture and only continues to grow from there. But Fortnite there JJK. Bro, I'm waiting for the Fortnite, Fortnite One Piece. Oh. I'm, I'm going to buy all the skins, bro. I'm going to put like $500 into the... the if they got to do all of the characters, right? There's so many characters you could deal with One Piece. I'll, I'll buy them all. I don't care. Anime fans continue to find any opportunity to complain about CG. This time, even Demon Slayer yep. was catching yep, yep, strays, yep, 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 yep. viewers complaining yep, about yep. how these fishes look like an absolute <laughs> joke. Meanwhile, in Isekai Land... <laughs> oh, of course there was going to be a reference to this thing. <laughs> Ugly. This is what peak CGI looks like. But they would probably win yeah, against this random dude from Mashal. I... I'm Rhodes Amos. I mean, look at him. He lost like two seconds. Who the hell would play a character like that? It's probably some dumbass hack. For real, though. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that he voiced a character in Mashal. That's dope. Mishoku Tensei continued my favorite Isekai Fire. story of all time, but having his main character go. I cannot get it up. All right, let's get to my favorite show. <laughs> that's good. But before we good. do, a quick word that's from good. my sponsor. Bespoke oh, and I hear. This year's season of uh, Mushoku Tensei coming in April, even better. I, I actually liked the 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 little core that we got in summer of 2023. I liked that. I thought it was good. I thought it was good character development for Rudy. A lot of funny moments, a lot of cool moments, a lot of hype moments. Uh, when the big ass fucking multi arm man shows up and it, the shit happened in there. I mean, there are actually so many different things. And we just wait. The entire season, we're waiting. Is he gonna realize it's Sylph? Is it gonna real? Is he gonna realize it's Sylphie? No, 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 no. And then yes, and then yes. It's so good, man. Very enjoyable. Of oh, my chess victory over Connor. To get a free mystery. <laughs> uh, first good. Just click I don't know why I'm watching. I don't know why I'm watching the ad. I'm watching the ad. Who cares? Post Listen, real ones don't skip the ad. All right, real ones, real fans don't skip the fucking ad. Zom is in his top, really? Zom? I know he's going top 13, but I mean, I, I enjoyed Zom. I just don't think that Zom's in my top 13 anime of 2023. 
I thought it was fun. I thought that Zom is fun is like in the same realm of like on because he said Undead Unluck, Mashal, Hell's Paradise, fun anime. Yeah, same thing. I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna put any of those in my top. 13. The zombie genre is probably one of the most saturated and overdone genres you can find in any entertainment medium. 100%. Definitely, About 10 yeah, years yeah. ago. Zom 100 tells the sad story of Mapper employees. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Which is embodied in one of the most impressive opening episodes all year, where you could feel that every single person was. Yes, on it. I will admit the first episode. The previous employees great. that had ever wronged them. I think a lot of us could use a story about one man reminding us all how to live. Through a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed Zom. Oh. He's the most respected genre. Oh, audio got muted here? Fucking 100 girlfriends muting the audio. How dare they? But this year we saw the 100 girlfriends who <laughs> love you come along and personally made sure that it never will be. This was great. I enjoyed 100 girlfriends. Oh, by the way, all of the stuff he's mentioning here. I've done reactions to all of these. I guarantee it. I guarantee he, he said Zom. I did reactions to that. I did 100 Girlfriends. And by the way, I loved 100 Girlfriends. It would probably go in my top 13 for sure. Just purely on comedy alone. Phenomenal. 100 Girlfriends has a concept so dumb. It would need to be as batshit crazy as its own premise to even have a chance at making it oh work. Oh my God. And that's it was exactly so wild, why it dude. does. It's stupid. It's unhinged. It knows exactly how insane it is all and then runs things. with yeah, it yeah. 10 kilometers past where it needed to go. Don't worry. I come in peace. Hi. What's your name? Peace. <laughs> ah, I you did there. That's good. That's funny. What? Why are you all running away? Ah, oh, yes. That the the one the one thing that I was very aware of. That is the one panel from uh, Hunter Girlfriends that I was aware of already before the show even came out. I was aware of that panel specifically. <laughs> That's funny. Trigun also might make my top 13. I thought it was really good. The real ones know though that Studio Orange has been out here creating their own tier. Every project, they seem to continually push themselves. Orange is phenomenal with computer generated animation. She called themselves the hentai of the anime industry. And well, that's pretty accurate because what they've done with Trigun Stampede has got me bricked. Hentai as in weird. Oh, hey, whoa. Where are you going with this, bro? I was, I just was going to say, yeah, hentai, weirdos. They're the weirdos of the anime community. Okay, well, wait, wait, what were you saying? And, well, that's pretty accurate because what they've done with Trigun Stampede has got me bricked up. Yeah, okay. Oshinoko at 10? There were a few oh. anime last year that exploded onto the scene as fast as Oshinoko did. Our oh hearts were torn to shred in a tragic 90-minute opening episode. And First episode might have been one of the best first episodes ever, even though I will say, can we call it a first episode? I mean, it's kind of cheating. It's like a first little mini arc, if you will, because all you did was combine a few episodes together, right? He met with form as anime companies saw the feature length opening premiere and said, wait, you can do that? It's free real estate. Yeah, the, everybody started doing it. They were like, wait, wait, let's do this. Like if I call him a motherfucker, is he more likely to say fuck you or yes, please? Here's a feed of Sigmund Freud's grave right now. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, Oshis mm. are worshipped in idol fandom in the same way that Taylor Swift has become the Jesus for white women. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, um. Oh, okay. Eminence and Shadow, a thousand percent in my in my top ten, dude. A thousand percent. Oh, I will say, I was saying like, oh, you can find my reactions to all of these things. Yeah, I didn't put up reactions for Trigun because, unfortunately, uh. People just weren't watching it when it was when it was coming out, but I really enjoyed it. I, I did the reactions on Patreon, it's just not not on YouTube. Eminence and Shadow is just beautiful. It is stupid, but it doesn't give a fuck if you care or not. And I thought this yeah, would eventually so go its course dude. until I kept watching nope. and realized just got, that this has a more interesting got better and better. and better world building than 90% of isekai out there, which actually mm -hmm. says less than you think. When the moment comes, it delivers every single time this was the most fun i had with any show all year phenomenal yes dude i'm glad that i'm glad that he said that by the way giguk made a video saying that this was the the best of the of the trash of isekai and i reacted to that video too you can find the link for that down in the description one more isekai doing this i guess what i'm trying to say i is, agree 100 really what a 
not understand the reference. Yes, Attack on Titan, it has to be in there. Like the final, 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 final season. This was a satisfying conclusion that did everything it needed to do. I had my slight nitpicks with the yeah. execution of this ending, but absolutely none of it took away from my I love liked for it. the series as a whole. The catchy song, this goddamn dance, it's enough to make uh, any grown ass Yeah, uh, I love that shit, dude. <gasps> this is so oh, cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Fuck yeah, violence. Am I right, lads? We have goddamn taxes. Sometimes you yearn for a Fucking time when life taxes. was simpler. Fucking taxes. We're in taxis, dude. Uh. Maybe that time is romanticized. Maybe you're looking back at that time through rose-tinted glasses. But whether you are or you aren't, you'll never know because we'll never be able to get that time back again. And it's also why, like, 80% of anime is based around, like, high schoolers and shit. It's because... Of that exact thing, like, the, you know, the work life culture in Japan, it just leads to this time being the best time to, to live, you know, when you're in high school or middle school, whatever. I'm not a big fan of that because like, damn, bro, I would I would love for you to make a, some more stuff not involving middle high schoolers and all that shit. Like I would love for it to, like I would love for a romance to be not about high schoolers. That'd be great. That'd be cool. I mean, it happens, sure, yes. But it's very rare. And, like, also, it's a bunch of etchy anime. Always dealing with, with, with fucking high schoolers. You know? And everybody fighting? They're always a fucking kid. Now, I know it's because Battle Shonens. It's, it's supposed to be directed to kids. You know, kids are supposed to be seeing other kids fighting because they're like, oh, shit, yeah. Oh, I can relate to this kid because I am also a kid and this kid's fighting and he's so cool and I want to be him. I get it, but still, a little less would be nice. I'm just saying. That's all I'm really trying to say. Mm. Yes, dude, this was so good. The anime wants you to feel this sad. This is so good. It goes. <laughs> Subtlety in anime is using a chainsaw to dice an onion. But what happens when That's a show true. comes along that That's treats so you true. like you have the IQ that Rick and Morty fans say they do? You get heavenly delusion. So this is just a normal world after all. <laughs> Fucking laser beam shooter, dude. In a single scene, the show yeah. is set as well. This is Heavenly Delusion for all 13 episodes. This is one of the most intriguing yeah. worlds of any show. Heavenly this Delusion year. easily on to my piece top. Everything together yourself. Were you paying attention even now? Because you just saw a random drawing of a fish with legs that looks oddly like this horrific thing. And the real question is, did yes. you see a connection without me saying anything? I, I I figured that out. The moment we saw it, like on the boat and stuff, like I was like, ah, oh, what is this? Yeah, it was so good, dude. By the end, we've only just seen a slice of the larger whole, but it's so refreshing to see an anime. Dude, I can't wait for another season of Heavenly Delusion. So fucking good, dude. Oh, Apothecary Diaries in here. But what if we had Chinese cartoons? Japan. <laughs> Apothecary Diaries is an anime that takes place kind in of, ancient yeah. China, not China. The best female character we could Dude, find all year. I love Mao Mao. Sometimes Mal. that's yeah, all it takes. Yeah, 100%. She is like one of my favorite female one thing, uh, protagonists no. ever. Mao Mao is a character that deserves to be in the running for one of the best protagonists we saw in 2023. And was such a yeah. breath of fresh Female or not, definitely deserves to be in the running. Fresh air to see. Her presence was overpowering without Just conforming in to what general, a lot of one shows of the best seem to think a good characters. female character is. And Aoyuki's goat performance helps. But isn't afraid to throw hands when shit needs to get done. Bro, when she, ah, oh, dude, when she slapped her. Oh. That was such a good moment. Oh, yes, and Pluto's on here too. You know what, Giga? You're doing a very good job here, sir. You're doing a very good job. Very, very good job. When you have a track record of titles like Monster, an absolute masterpiece with arguably the greatest villain anime has seen. 20th Century Boys, not just my favorite manga. I own the volumes to both of those series and have not read them. I haven't watched uh, Monster either. One day, one day soon, I will probably watch it. Um, and I don't know, man. I keep on, because I do anime reactions, right? It feels like it doesn't make sense for me to read a manga when I can watch the anime. And if it doesn't have an anime now, but it is one of the best manga ever, doesn't it make sense for me to wait for the anime? But what if the anime never comes and then I'm missing out on such a great story? This is the constant dilemma I am facing when it comes to anime and, and manga. And also just, I don't really have time to consume content outside of the me making content. <sighs> Anyways. This is where you probably 
say, oh, woe is me, where? Fuck you. A robot that has done the impossible and taken a human life. He hooks you into his world and leaves you with a single it's question. It's so in interesting, dude. Ends. Every single episode is so interesting. Does this rabbit and once again, I'm just saying, you can find my reactions to these things on the channel and also links for, for all of those playlists down, down in the description. You can check out my reactions to these things. I'm just saying, if you wanted, you don't have to. You know, if you don't want to, but if you do want to, you can. Captivate an audience through his mastery of uh, this episode. To me, has it was phenomenal. Of is that episode one? Seeing a master blacksmith make a legendary sword. So two, every one. episode is so dense with emotion. Of Literally course, every episode was phenomenal. All the twists and turns. They had me crying. The they had me depth of the story that on the edge of my chair. They had there's so many. Back. Eastern country predicated on the possible developments of robots of mass destruction. Hmm. Oh hey, there's a guy called Adolf. <clears throat> He's a bad guy. I couldn't agree with you more, my dear Adolf. But along with a slightly lukewarm ending, this doesn't take away from the legacy of one of the greatest mangakas alive right now. So, I have one question left. Are we ready to attempt a 20th Century Boys anime? Please! Please! Or can we just... Can, listen, I know Urasawa fans hate when I say this shit. Can we remake Monster? Can we? That shit, or, 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 or remaster, is it possible to remaster something? Because I'm just saying, I'm not a big fan of watching anime in 160p or 480p. I want to watch it on my 4K monitor. I don't have a 4K monitor, let's be real. I have a 4K TV, but on my 1440p monitor. And I want it to not look like blurry shit. Do that for me, right? And I'm a 480p is just not gonna. It's it's just not gonna look good. I understand it can it can the the story can be great. This that the the sound design, the voice acting, um, the dialogue, whatever it can be all great. But once you're dealing with the animation being so damn grainy that it looks like it's three total pixels, like I just eh, it's so hard for me to get into that. Remaster it, you know, or or just reanimate it. And use literally the exact same shit. Just have somebody come in, redraw the whole fucking thing. That's it. That's all I want. Because I really, I really want to watch Monster. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm seriously, literally all the time debating whether I should just watch it regardless of, of it ever getting reanimated. But 20th Century Boys, please make it happen. Is this, which one is it? Freeman? Domain expansion. JJK, okay. So he's going to go JJK3, Freeman 2, and Vinland. JJK was phenomenal. Jujutsu Kaisen went. Phenomenal. Wins. How about we do that? A few For times. Every single episode. Yeah, this, this, we're not gonna just do it once. We're gonna do it a few times. There's no way they could ever top this. And it's at that moment, and the then, show will look you dead in the eye. Nice and go, episode. I'll fucking do it again. We got gritty mm. hand to hand combat, mm. city wide disaster level mm. rules, insanely yes. unique powers, idol dance beatdowns. There was a mecha fight. <laughs> a did. fucking mecha fight uh, in a funny. shonen anime. The amount of yeah. hype, the amount of fucking. Yeah. And, and one thing that I gotta say that I love so much about JJK, the anime, there's more. Instead of just like, oh, this, this part was a single chapter or was a page, you know, was, was five or six panels. It's a whole episode. They flesh out the fights to be even better, more action, and just great animation from the animators. Fuck the studio, fuck MAPPA, but the animators went off with this absolutely phenomenal yeah disrespect we got fucking rabbits throwing hands this was yes, one of dude. the greatest showcases i've ever seen of, for lack of a better term fucking cool shit fucking phenomenal dude phenomenal free run good oh, okay so vinland's number one and i'm happy about that thank you free run it's i love free run of you that this retired hero do not call me himmel how dare you say it So many tears throughout this show. Phenomenal. I don't like this music being played right now. I might, I might cry again. I showed this to a mate and he was like, Free Ren? You mean Side Quest, the anime? And I bloody ate him. Side Quest, the anime? And somehow it's better than all the other shit. All the other great anime that came out, still better than it. And it's only side quests. Yeah. How about that? How about, how about those apples? Put, cut those up, put them in a pie and eat them. I then hit you with these flashy, high-intensity action scenes. It's phenomenal. This series didn't need to go hard in its animation in any way, shape, or form, but chooses to do so anyway. 
phenomenal. This is what every fantasy cry, tale dude. aspires Just to thinking be. Just thinking about it's shows like these that somehow make you nostalgic for an experience you've never had. Cherish the things in your life that really matter. God, I love Freeman so much. It's just a phenomenal anime. Truly, just power. phenomenal. Villain Saga, of course. Phenomenal. Absolutely yeah. amazing. I've killed so many people. I will be reborn. Honor, glory, sacrifice, all left by the wayside, and all that remains is people just trying their best to find their place in this merciless world. And an absolutely banger OP. You'll secretly wish for that instant gratification that he'll revert back to his previous savage self. But as you witness this journey of a man fighting so desperately to- Bro, I went on a journey while watching this season of accepting- I- the show makes the audience go on a journey of accepting who he is changing to become. And by the end of it, you you're you you don't want him to fight. You don't want the violence. You want him to be better than that. To be the Viking that doesn't kill, to to change the world. You want all of those things. And when it started, yeah. There was tons of times where I was like, I hope, I hope Thorfinn does this or that and does some wild shit and kills this person or fights this person and blah, blah, blah. I, and when he fights Snake, yeah, it came out of me. I was like, yes, this is what I wanted. But like by the end of the show, like I said, it's just, it's just phenomenal, man. Just a phenomenal show. Watching Vinland Saga feels like I'm getting read the greatest bedtime story ever told by my dad. It'll grip you with the purest. Oh God, that one, that episode killed me. That episode killed me, especially this moment. Packed with nothing but raw human emotion that will leave your heart filled to the brim. It's a long, hard, unforgiving road, but you can get there, even if Where's every a joke? day you only take Where's a one joke? Small it step always ends with a joke. We Where's will always joke? find a reason to fight each other. You are capable of letting go of that hatred, even if that hatred is towards yourself. You have no enemies. No joke! <gasps> Wow, no joke to round it out. That's kind of surprising. Now, if you enjoyed this video, my reaction to, to Gigguk's video, and the, you know, we'll have the link for Gigguk's video. I'm sure you watched the video. If you're watching my video, you watched Gigguk's video. Let's be real. If you enjoyed it, maybe you might be interested in, in checking out my reactions to some of these series. Now, I reacted to every single one of these series, as well as many others. Even the ones that are just briefly mentioned that aren't actually talked about, elaborated on, like Hell's Paradise, or like Mashal, or or, or or like Undead Unluck to a certain point, and then nobody was really watching it anymore, so I stopped doing reactions to it. And now, the only one that I don't have reactions for is Trigun, because that really sick episode, I think it's episode three, you know, where Knives comes through and does what he does, that got me a copyright strike. And if something gets me a copyright strike, I'm not watching that shit. I'm not doing, well, or at least I'm not doing reactions for it on YouTube. Everything else though, you can check out those reactions. What did you think about Gigax top 13? I mean, I don't know if I'm putting Skip and Loafer up there. Also, the uh, he absolutely disrespects Danger in My Heart. He disrespects it. Danger in My Heart was absolutely phenomenal. It is 100% in my top 13. Skip and Loafer pushed back. Oh, Zom, that's not in my top 13. Those are the only two. Everything else is probably in my top 13. Where exactly? I don't know. I, that's too much for me to try and figure out, but everything else there. The other 11 are in my top 13. I would probably throw Dangers in My Heart in there and something else that I would take a while to think of. My favorite original animes. What the fuck is this? And with that, the 2023 season comes to an end. He's here! I'm Atomic. EXPLOSION! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, God damn, bro! Oh. Yes, I fucking knew it! He's one with his What is this? Yes! Yes. Yeah! Yeah! Dude! 
What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, maybe subscribing to the channel for more reactions uh, much like this and, and also anime reactions where I react to actual anime episodes. Maybe if you like that, I don't know, maybe you don't and that's okay. You don't have to watch those. You don't have to subscribe if that's not what you're interested in. But I'm just saying, you can if you want. Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.